Good morning, my friends. This morning, we're going to have a coffee talk. <laughs> I um, am still at Connie's, and I was opening up my emails this morning, and I was reading a few people that were thanking me for uh, my videos on Back to Basics, Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, and um, just thanking me for what I do. And I will be doing a video response to Less of Sarah for um, the question, um, um, why we make videos, and that will be on Back to Basics next week. But this morning, I got a letter, and um, now, I don't ever shout out um, people's names for the obvious reasons. That it's personal. But in this letter, or rather this note, it was very brief. And um, uh, she's going through some issues. And I'm just going to give you some encouraging words, my friend. That no matter what you go through, in life, there's going to be times that you forget to throw the trash out. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, right? But think about it. You know, trash day is maybe once a week or twice a week, right? And when you forget to throw the trash out, it will pile up. Think of the feeling that you have when it finally all gets to the dumpster and the trash man arrives. <laughs> and you go, wow, no more trash to, you know, until next week. But there's going to be times that you just forgot to throw the trash out. And what happens is it ends up piling up. What you have forgotten, my friend, it's the same thing that a lot of us forget. It gets piled. I don't know how to describe this other than, you know, like this. You've got trash, and it starts to stink. It starts to pile up, and not until you remove it, let it go, stop piling it up. Take it to the trash if you have to. Discard it. Don't hold on to it. Trash man's coming. <laughs> Don't hold on to the negativity that keeps coming your way. Because that's what's happening. You're allowing it to pile up. You're forgetting to throw it away. There is times that, and I'm speaking by experience, I've allowed sometimes for that trash to pile up and it gets stinky and I begin to stink with it. <laughs> I have to remember, it's trash day, baby. Today's the day it goes out and stays out. I know for a lot of people this probably did not help you in any way, but I know it helped my friend. Um, those are the words of wisdom I have for you. She asked me to share a little wisdom, and those are the only words I have for you, my friend. Don't allow that trash to penetrate you, to make you stinky. 
negativity will come your way. What are you going to do with it? Is there anything you could really do with it? Negative people are going to be in your life, no matter what. Because we're this world is built of many of many people. But you know you can still shine. You can still go take a bath, and t after you take that trash off of you. Sometimes I've learned in my 52 years, and I'm not finished learning. I don't have all the answers. <laughs> uh, but in my 52 years, I have learned that sometimes we have to teach these things in order for them to be taught. I mean, we have to teach them, yeah, so that others can learn by them. You know? Maybe someone's giving you a lot of negativity and you're holding on to that trash instead of saying, I don't need your trash. I don't want your trash. But let me give you an example on how you could have cleaned up that trash. Does that make sense? I hope so. <laughs> it's early in the morning. So, my friend, <sighs> rejoice in your positivity. Not everyone's going to give us positivity, happiness, something to smile about, you know? But how we react to that is sometimes priceless. Because people are expecting you to be, in return, negative and trashy and dirty or whatever the case may be. But when we turn that, we turn the tables on them and and show them love, compassion, kindness, caring. It's as if we, you know, showed them just a pin light. And eventually the sun comes out and they see that. They didn't push your buttons. And maybe they need to change their ways. Anyway, I'm sorry I couldn't reveal the letter to you guys. It's, it's, it's you know, and maybe I could have written this, this back to her, but she did ask for a coffee talk, and so here you go, sweetie. <laughs> I hope I made sense. And if I didn't, write to me. I'll write back. I love you. And go out and be the best you that you can be. And forget about the rest. Oh my goodness, forget about the rest. There's so much living to do. Love you guys. Bye. And remember, my friend, love conquers it all. Go out and be the best you that you can be. I love you.